Hello everyone, my name is Federica Zamboni, I am a provisional psychologist and today I'm here to talk about the initiative presented by Excellent Gusto called I Panini dell'Amicizia or the Sandwiches of Friendship. The Sandwiches of Friendship, I Panini dell'Amicizia, is an initiative that aims at showcasing the link between culture and tradition and food. Nowadays, food is very strongly associated with culture, so much so that different religious and traditional you know, occasions in different cultures revolve around some form of food experience, like Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Easter, Hanukkah, Eid, and a whole lot of other things have a food element associated to it. This means that culture and food become a symbol of each other. In terms of panini dell'amicizia, when we think about a sandwich with salame, we think about Italy. When we think about a Vegemite sandwich, then we think about Australia. If we think about a baguette with different cheeses, then we straight away think of France. So food, in a way, becomes a symbol of the particular nation that we associate it to it, which means that food becomes a symbol of that culture. A lot of you would have heard the saying, you are what you eat. But this saying goes beyond its basic meaning of, if you eat healthy, you are healthy. And it extends to, we are who we are because of the choices we make including our food choices. So it's almost like we're saying we're Italian, so we eat pasta and we eat piadina and risotto. And we are Japanese, so we eat sushi and ramen. Or we're Australian and we eat Vegemite. So as you can see, we make these choices, they're almost dictated by where we're born and our tradition, our upbringing. So what does the panini dell'amicizia teach the child? The child makes or draws his or her own sandwich based on how they were brought up. You know, what did mum put in their lunchbox when they went off to school? And by doing this, the child learns to have a link with his or her own culture. At the same time, the child also sees that there are other sandwiches, other cultures and other traditions. So in a way, the child learns about diversity. And this diversity helps the child understand that they are part of their own culture, their own traditions, but also to receive and accept different cultures and other traditions from around the world. This means that the child will hopefully learn to see themselves as part of Australia or Italy or their own territory or nation, a citizen of that territory or nation, but more so a citizen of the world. So thank you so much um, and enjoy the conference. And you can stop it now.